in London administration. That should be made also to the judiciary. Yun ang sinasabi ko na sa tingin ko, siyempre dapat yan. This is not just Ronnie Samora talking. Ang sabi, tinatanong asosyon ninyo nung kayo nasa pamahalaan kay dating Pangulong Marcos. At kung hindi daw po ay magiging uh, punong may uh, ano po po? Koy, uh, simula sa gobyerno, sa panahon ni Presidente Marcos. Opo. Nandun po ako hanggat napalitan ng gobyerno. Opo. I served in various capacities. And I always thought of him as not just the president, I always thought of him in a slightly more personal way. I thought of him as a mentor. That's what I thought of President Marco. Why don't we talk about this case? What was the decision that I think after 30 years, none of us want to be subjected to 30 years uh, I have had for your political prowess and your <laughs> legal mind. Salamat po. When you lectured on, on the barristers at the UP in 1952, still remember that. I was one of the of your of the of the barristers then. Uh, this one, uh, you tuck the bar because you are very good in this. Why do you, why do you uh, want to disregard English in our dealing uh, English? <laughs> Kaya alam po dapat buksan natin ang ating paningin upang madibong huwi ka na. You see, uh, uh, Congressman, uh, in, the high in high school, I, I had uh, the grade of A in all subjects, except pag, uh, Filipino. <laughs> At the time, Filipino was introduced and I got C in Filipino. And so I did not become valedictorian, I became salutatorian only. Uh, you see, English is a lingua franca, a franca of the world. That is the advantage that our OFWs have. They, because our, our Filipinos know English. And then, didn't you realize Filipino uh, speaking people are more in uh, among these people is English. The only mostly in uh, Manila and this disadvantage is that he did not know how to speak Tagalog. Well uh, I, as I said, uh, I have a very high regard for your legal mind, and I have no doubt that if you appoint Chief Justice, you will become uh, Chief. So, on that note, uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Justice. But let me just say a little thing about language. Import the push under the rug. Sooner or later, we have to come to one basic reality. English is no longer used with the same facility, with the same usefulness 
as it was when I was taking up law. I uh, finished my law in 1969. I'd like to think of myself as a young man, but the truth is 1969 is things that I thought I would never forget. And why is that justice? It is because things change, life itself changes. I suppose when my father, who was a lawyer too, that him askance in English, when everybody studied Spanish. But in the end, it is always life that wins out. Spanish has fallen by the wayside. Eventually, English will end up in the position of Spanish, and we will end up with English being used by call centers, by BPOs, by multinational companies in the Philippines. Yes, it is lingua franca right now. But if I were to make a bet justice, if I were to bet on other languages, I would bet on Putungwa or Mandarin. As the language for the next century rather than English. It is simply because there are far more people speaking Putungwa. Good afternoon, sir. First of all, I'd like to disclose that I was a former volunteer lawyer of the uh, of Attorney Ronnie Samora when he ran for the second uh, term in his legislative district, that is the district of San Juan. I, pro I probably did not thank you, uh, Under Secretary, but thank you now. Uh, thank you, Pa. But, uh, I also uh, am a very good friend of of uh, your daughter Consuelo Cello, who, who unfortunately passed away some years back. I continue to commiserate with you and your, your family on that loss. So my first question is, how, how are you, uh, Attorney Ronnie Zamora, how, how, you, how have you coped with, uh, with a loss of one very precious daughter? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, this, this is a question that has caught me off guard, but my daughter was a lawyer. She studied in Ateneo, which I used to tease her that I didn't even know that Ateneo had a law school. <laughs> but she was a good lawyer. She did a lot of things, but at 38, um, which means that um, she passed on cope. I have tried to put up a small foundation. so that I can help fight what she died from, which is acute myelogenous leukemia. Acute myelogenous leukemia, if you catch it when you are young, there's a good, good chance that you will survive it. Even they started this system of heart. Um, she had the heart and um, she underwent cardiac arrest. She could have lived exercise. And 